hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a great day so pretty much today's video is sponsored by maxim lighting i had an opportunity to put some lighting in a client's home i'm going to share that with you guys throughout the video so you can see what that lighting option looks like but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into today's discussion. Let me first start off by saying that when I do these type of videos, it isn't to tell you that you're doing something wrong or you should change anything. It's just to give you another opinion on what your options are. I consider lighting to be just as important as the furniture. And what I mean by that is think about as a woman, getting dressed, putting your outfit together, and trying to figure out um, even something like I'm wearing today. Is your hair gonna be down? Is it gonna be up? And if it is, the type of earring that you're going to add on, which is your jewelry, um, to bring the look together. And that can make or break an outfit if it's done improperly. Each person is gonna give off a totally different vibe, even if it's the same style. And this is where, you know, mass production comes into play when it comes to lighting options, okay? So the first thing that I want to jump into when it comes to lighting is going to be the space and also the size. For this, I'm going to use my bedroom as an example. I don't know the measurements, so we're going to wing it, okay? Um, you want to measure the length and the width. If you're going to do it in inches, then you want to convert the inches into feet and then you wanna add those two. All right, let's just say I convert my inches and it's 15 by 12, okay? The length and also the width of the room, 12, 15. Now you wanna take those two numbers, you wanna add them together and you're gonna get 27. What I like to do is I just like to add five. The biggest thing is you don't wanna go below that number. So the number is 27. If you're looking for a light fixture, you wanna find something within the width of 27. Most of the time when you guys are like, the light fixture is too small, it's too big, it's too whatever, the reason why I always say, well, what's the measurement? How, Sway, how? If you don't have actual measurements of a room, you can't look at a picture and gauge it because sometimes in pictures, things look bigger and things look smaller than what they are in person. This is how I get the measurement for light fixtures in my room. Now, I do understand that I have an open floor plan. Most of you guys have an open floor plan. And I think I'll do another video where I discuss how I divide the rooms up. But if you can understand this, let me know in the comments. I use my hallway, my stairs, and my back door to gauge the span of my living room so I can figure out how big my ceiling fan should be when it's time for me to order. I use my island in the back door to kind of tape off and close my dining area and I measure it length and width so I can figure out how big the light fixture should be over here. And that's how I gauge all of the lighting in my house. That way I'm going to remain in scale with the lighting. The plus five is just a number that I did just from experience, looking in a room and doing the plus five, it works for me, it may not work for you, but again, you don't wanna go below that 27 mark when it comes to your lighting. Most rooms, office, living room, bedroom, wherever, has two types of lighting. The best thing to do is going to be figuring out what's going to be the best lighting option for you when it comes to um, how you're gonna implement lighting in your home. And I will be doing a quick pan around my house so you can see different lighting options. So here's a quick look at the lighting option in my client's home. I saw this lighting about six to seven months before she became my client. And once I went into her daughter's room and her daughter told me what she wanted, I was like, I know the exact lighting. I call this light the queen of hearts. When you stand underneath the lighting, it has this heart croix de fleur design that is so beautiful, that is so girly, that is so princess-like. I absolutely love it. You can use it if you're an adult. It's great for a kid's room. I love this light. I consider it to be very transitional from any space that you wanna put it in, whether it's over a dining table, your entryway. This next light here has more of an architectural detail to it. Again, I love 
her son likes to rough house very much so like mine so i wanted him to have something that was going to match and flow within his room again these lighting fixtures are from maxim lighting if you're looking for lighting you want to check them out they really do have some great options for lighting the next thing that you want to consider is the color now someone mentioned to me yesterday is every single light in my house daylight and i said no so in my bedroom the main light it is a soft white because when i'm in the bedroom at night i don't always want it to be super super bright but then the recessed lighting that i have in my room those are bright so if i am recording at night for youtube i'll use my recess which i just got installed again we're going to be talking about different types of lighting i'll leave that for that and then the third type of light that I have in my bedroom is going to be um, the lamps on top of my bathroom chest, which those are, again, soft white. So I don't have daylight everywhere. And if I do have daylight in a particular space, I also have the soft white. So when I'm in there and I'm just chilling by myself, I can have just a really nice ambient type of lighting. So the type of lighting that the rooms share is going to be your general light fixture, which is going to be your, your main lighting. The ceiling fan, the chandelier, that's the thing that when you walk into the room, it's like, like right there. So for this, I'm going to use the example of my bedroom. You guys, the ceiling fan is absolutely gorgeous. The first thing that people notice when I post a picture on Instagram, they're like, oh my gosh, the light girl, the light. Now this again is going to go back to what I originally said about what type of light that you like. Personally for me, I would have opted for a beautiful chandelier, but I like air to circulate and flow within my space. So I end up going with the ceiling fan just because I like the room to be able to get some air and open up my windows. And that meant more to me than having a pretty light fixture. That might be something totally different for you. Again, it's personal to preference. I do apologize, you're gonna hear a lot of noise because I have work going on upstairs and I'm downstairs. The next type of lighting is going to be your task light. I am going to put recessed lights under that because this is a direct, a direct light source for a particular area. Like me having the um, pendants over my island, me having the... Um, recessed lighting in my bedroom they are put in a particular space where if i'm standing in front of my mirror i have the direct light if i am in my vanity i have the direct light i'm also going to put the sconce under the same option of lighting also because it's providing light in a particular source in your home and then your next lighting is going to be your accent light i'm gonna say that some accent light don't necessarily serve a purpose sometimes it just might be in the room for the pretty um, something that would fall under that category for me is going to be something like your um, picture box light. If it's in a hallway, yes, it's going to provide some level of lighting, but normally the lighting doesn't really do anything, especially like I'm going to put one above my bookcase. It's going to offer some level of lighting, but it's not really doing anything in terms of like for me, like if I'm in my kitchen, I'm not going to be able to read from over there. Um, so in terms of lighting, there is a plethora of different options. So when it comes to you putting together your room and designing your room, you really want to think about how you're going to move and work and be in your space and what's going to be the best option for you. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my office. I've shared my office before, but I haven't shared it in a term of lighting. So in my office, I still need to get um, a, a task light. But currently, as you're looking into my office, I have the scones that are in between the picture, which I really, really do love. This for me is going to fall under you know, my ambient and also my tax life. When I was changing out all of my switch plate, I never went into full detail of why I was doing it or, or anything like that. But I knew there was going to be a point where I was going to sit down. I was going to do this video and I was going to be able to share it with you guys. Taking a look at my office, you're going to see the general or the primary lighting, which I love you guys. It is a really, really beautiful light. I didn't want the light fixture to be too gold, too silver, too pewter. So I got something that was just a really nice mix of all two tones. So that way I can switch the room 
in terms of color, in terms of style, without any hesitation. And I can control the light intake in this space because I installed a dimmer. This is something, this is something that you may wanna consider. A lot of the times when I am in my home and I'm putting things together and I'm putting the space together, I think about how I'm going to move, how I'm going to work, how I'm going to sit. Oh I, oh, I almost forgot. I also have a floor lamp in the corner, which I do use. Sometimes I may have to look over things or read something. I will turn that light on and cut everything else off and I'll just sit in my corner and it's just perfect for me to be able to be in that space. So these are things that you want to consider when you're bringing your space together. Um, 100% I am all about things being really, really pretty, but I'm also more importantly concerned with things being functional. So most of the times when you see me do something in my space, there's a 100% thought process that goes behind it. I'm just not throwing things on my wall or putting things in a corner just for the heck of it. There's definitely um, a lot of thought that goes into that. into my master bedroom this bedroom you guys again it is an entire vibe so over my console table i did a pair of sconce light fixtures the same exact light as in my office and yes you can do same lighting over the house no one's gonna see upstairs and see downstairs at the same time and trust me, by the time you make it to my bedroom, if anyone makes it into my bedroom, you're not even gonna be thinking about my office. I wanted to do this light because I wanted to be able to come into my room when it's really late and I'm ready to go to bed and I don't want recessed lighting, even though it is on a dimmer. I don't want the general lighting. I wanna create just a really nice vibe. I'm definitely not here to tell you the do's and the don'ts of what you can have or how you're supposed to fix your lighting in your home. I save that for my clients. So when I come onto YouTube, I'm just here to help you to accentuate your natural vibe that you already have. So when it comes to your lighting fixture, when it comes to your light, your light bulb, think about the mood and how you wanna feel and how you wanna maneuver in your space. You know, having daylight bulbs for me over the island is essential because I clean at night, I clean in the afternoon, I clean in the daytime. Soft white bulbs just will not work for me whatsoever. That may be something that's totally different for you in your home and how you want the light fixture to be. I'm also on social media, so that plays a part in how the colors are gonna play off when I wanna share with you guys something, which is why I always try to do things in the morning because the light that comes in here is super nice, it's super bright, and you'll get to see the color. The thing that I want you to take away from today's video is your space and the size, okay? So what you wanna do is measure the width and also the length of your room and feet. You wanna add that. If you don't do anything else, do that part, okay? you'll know not to go below that number in terms of the lighting size. And if you're trying to go up above that, I like to add five. Again, I'm all about going bigger, going home. So if you wanted to do plus seven, then that's fine. You don't want a light in one particular space to overpower the rest of the house, then I would do the plus five. That works for me. I think it's, it'll also work for you in terms of your lighting option. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add about six different websites for lighting options. Let me just say this. If you are still a little confused because I don't know how this video is going to come out, I'm trying to record it between um, Noah working. You can also call up these companies and say, hey, my room is this by this. My ceiling is 8 feet, 9 feet, 10 feet. Can you assist me on the size of lighting? I don't mean to be disrespectful when I say this, but stop going to Home Depot and Lowe's. Go to an actual lighting store first, get the information, obtain that information, keep that information, then you can go into your Home Depot and Lowe's and try to find your light fixture. But going in there blindly 
not having the size, not having height, not having all these things and you just pick a light is how you end up with these teeny boppy little lights in a massive space and then things just kind of look off in terms of proportion and size. I would like to give a huge thank you to Maxim Lighting for sponsoring today's video, but you guys have an absolutely amazing day and happy designing. Bye.